If you're wondering about whether stammering therapy is right for you, here are some ideas about what you could expect. I would say therapy has changed a lot over the last decade or two. So even if you've had therapy in the past and not found it particularly helpful, don't let that put you off trying again. Therapy for stammering is individualised to fit the changes you'd like to make in your life. Are there things you'd like to do but which you avoid because they feel too difficult or scary? Or maybe you feel held back by people around you because they simply don't understand about stammering. Here are some of the things I very often hear from the people I work with which they find difficult. Saying your name, speaking on the telephone, ordering food, going through a drive through buying tickets, asking for something in a shop, interviews, social events, presentations, speaking up in a meeting, and so on. So in therapy, we might problem solve how to make those things feel more achievable. We might explore your thoughts and feelings. We might look at the more mechanical side of things to work out what's happening when you're stammering and why you stammer more in some situations. We may well do a combination of all of those things. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. One thing I can't do, and nor can anyone else, is fix your stammer. And in fact, it doesn't need fixing. There's nothing wrong with stammering, it's simply the way some people talk. And what therapy can do is reduce the struggle and tension and the negative thoughts and feelings which so often accompany stammering. What a lot of people find is that when those things reduce, the stammering reduces as well. Your stammer may not be obvious to other people because of the things you're doing to manage it. In fact, people in your life may not even realise you have a stammer. To me, it doesn't matter how much or how little you're stammering. The main thing is the negative effect it's having on you. So if your stammer is having a negative impact on your life, even though it may not be obvious to others, then therapy is still appropriate and can help to reduce that negative impact. Here at Erda, we accept self-referrals. That means you don't have to go via your GP, you can contact Speech and Language Therapy Direct and ask to be seen. I tend to do my appointments by video and that works really well. People tend to feel more relaxed when they're having their therapy at home or at work. And there's no worry about having to get to a clinic, getting lost, paying for parking and so on. In terms of how long you could expect to be coming for therapy, that's very individual. Some people come for one or two sessions and that's enough. Others will need longer. I would say that most people can make meaningful long-term changes with four to eight sessions of therapy, and that may well be spread over several months. Coming for therapy can feel daunting or even terrifying, especially if you haven't really spoken about your stammer before, and that's okay. It's not nice to feel scared, but it's normal and human. But it's not okay if that fear is stopping you from doing what you want to do in your life. Therapy can help to turn that around by supporting you to try a different way of doing things. We all like to stay within our comfort zone, but when we do that, nothing changes. The scariest bit is coming along for your first appointment, but once you've taken that first step, it never feels quite as scary again. People who've had therapy have told me they feel happier, less anxious, more confident about saying what they want to, they're less bothered by their stammer, and generally just thinking less about it.